Welcome to the wonderful world of Python on hardware. Oh yeah! This week, in our code plus community world of Python and microcontrollers, we have oh the latest goodness. news. There's a so lot going much. on. So this week, we launched the prop maker. That's right. The prop maker wing is a feather wing. And it plugs into any feather that we make, and those are you know, the main boards that run from the ESP32 to the SAMD21 or SAMD51. But it works best with the SAMD21 and 51 running CircuitPython because it has an audio amplifier built in. And so the CircuitPython audio framework that makes it so easy to play audio effects makes it easy to add sound effects to your projects, like this lightsaber. Props to Python on hardware. We yeah. wanted to have something low cost that was open source, and easy to code, Shows up as a USB drive, and you can just change anything on your lightsaber or whatever other prop you make, and, and I, it's yeah, arrived. I invented this mostly because I'd seen so many cosplayers where they're like, oh, you know, I have to debug or fix or update my project while in a hotel room, and they're like, oh, I for, you know, the Wi-Fi, I can't download Arduino, or I can't use a web IDE. So having all the code live on the prop itself means that you can modify and hack it at any time. So this is actually really good for cosplayers. Next up, all of the Adafruit badges for the Hackaday Supercon made it. Special thanks to DigiKey for helping make it happen. Um, these are the Halloween Hackaday Supercon editions with their surprises on the devices and more. There's a book excerpt, there's a discount code, there's um, cool graphics, there's a QR code, and these are conference badges that are functional right out of the box. And those all arrived to Supercon this uh, last week. So yeah, are. and Supercon is this weekend, so yeah, if you're there, up. you're going to get some Circuit Python in your up. goodie bag. Um, other Ooh. news, someone ported Circuit Python. This is the, the All Aboard section. Yeah. <laughs> all Aboard. All Aboard. Uh, all Aboard, the Maker WAN 1300. Yep. Um, Sabbath, Sabbath one, added, uh, 1080. Yes. Ported it over to the uh, SAMD MRK 1300. And uh, that supports the LoRa, so that it, now it, has CircuitPython support. It, yeah, it doesn't. The LoRa board, the LoRa part doesn't have no. CircuitPython support yet, but the main chip and all the pinouts are correct. So basically, you know, it will automatically be generating CircuitPython um, binaries for you, and you don't have to worry about making the definition. He's already done it for you. Yep. Um, also, this is kind of big news for us. So Code Academy did an experiment with a project in a lesson using Circuit Playground Express. Now, Code Academy has millions of people that learn Python. So imagine. Code Academy with CircuitPython teaching people how to use CircuitPython and making electronics. And I love the little diagrams. It's very yeah. interactive. So it's you know it's a much more interactive way of learning where you go step by step and you have to sort of check it off and and rather than the way we do it, we sort of give you all the information. It's up to you yep. to um, go piece by piece. Next up, Blitz City made a 3D printed blinking jack o' lantern for Halloween, powered by CircuitPython. We also had, um, this is really exciting, Ooh. someone posted it up, they said, hey, um, this is from GoGuard on Twitter, um, Feather Form Factor Linux boards, these will be able to run CircuitPython Yeah, that's a SAM well. 7S, I think, so it's, a, it's an ARM 7 core from Atmel, um, and you can see that big chip in the center, and I believe it has built-in RAM as well, and then above you can see there's a little um, helper chip, probably a USB to serial converter or, or something like that, yeah. or an FPG, um, SWD or JTAC uh, adapter. But yeah, they squished a full Linux board into the Feather form factor. And this is kind of neat. Um, this is a Zephyr real board. We're um, trying to get a couple. And watch this space because CircuitPython is going to be running on the Nordic NRF52. And this is um, a really cool e-ink badge. We're doing a badge. We'll talk about that probably later. Um, but this is a really neat thing. And we're in communication with them. So um, this is you know another all aboard. All aboard. Uh, also, I wanted to follow up. This is a photo of, um, it's called Meow Meow, but I call it Meowy Meowy. And this board runs CircuitPython, and it's an officially supported one now. You can actually run it right on yes. the uh, Then uh, this person posted up that they made this neat, um, they were doing prototypes, and they said, oh, is CircuitPython was so easy to use. Here's a um, add-on. Yes, yeah, a Bluetooth uh, module add-on. You yeah. see the HM10 in there, and then it has some power supply stuff, and it uses like the, the biscuit model where yeah. you just can bolt it or solder it onto the back of the Circuit Playground Express. And this is, um, I put the tag up in the newsletter and also on the blog, but it's Freeform Friday, and this is just Freeform Electronics. This happens to be uh, a feather. That's that, cool. Um, this fellow works at Particle, which is also a feather form factor company. Um, big news, it's two years for Microbit. Microbit now has two million BBC microbits in 50 countries. So I put up the stats because people always um, ask, oh, how many of what type of devices out there? So that's two million opportunities for someone to learn something like MicroPython. 
Um, so I'm going to Python on hardware. Uh, this was interesting. This was a banana bit. Banana yeah, bit. this is like... It's it, a micro bit. Um, ish, but not really. Ish looking thing. And uh, I posted the video and more... But it um, uses the ESP32 and it has 25 NeoPixels. Yeah. So it's like, it's not really it's a the, micro bit at all. It's the it's banana just pie BPI bit. Shaped like a Hello bit. world that runs MicroPython. Um, this is um, a Kickstarter that's kind of neat. It's a Python-controlled robot arm. What's neat is really advanced robot arms are now in the thousands, not the tens of thousand uh, dollar range. So uh, if I can get one of these, I'll This I'll looks get, like an intense I'll get Scott arm. to do circuit python on it. Yeah. Um, this was posted in Discord. Uh, this is kind of neat. This is a drop-in replacement if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah, this is an ESP32 yeah. room module replacement. So if you've seen those ESP32 modules, you, we, we have them on the Feather ESP32. But if you have a product, like maybe you have some sort of like um, game emulation system that you purchased, yeah. and it has an ESP32 on it, and maybe you'd want to run Circuit Python or SAMD51 on it instead, this module gives you the SAMD51 USB port, native USB, um, crystal protection, and also a QSPY flash chip as well. This is our not out yet. Uh, this is our open source CircuitPython powered open source badge that has LCD e ink, feather compatible, and more. You'll hear more about this, but we put that in there. Um, this is another thing that will be out soon. You'll see it. This is a holiday ornament with a Circuit Playground Express inside there. This is uh, Dave's tutorial. This is a new learn guide. It's a Halloween interactive cat toy. This is, it's got this cute cat. I mean, like, oh, yeah. look at those ears. And then this is a uh, new learn guide, comparison mm -hmm. and experimentation with flammable gas sensors. Um, this is all in Python. We also have an updated guide. This is laser dog goggles that now works with CircuitPython. So um, made with Moo. Every single week, we try to highlight something cool made with Moo. Moo is the uh, easy-to-use editor that uh, we really like. Ah, oh, it's and great. Nicholas Toll was at an event, and this week's made with Moo is this cool unicorn. Um, using Moo and CircuitPython to code up a 3D-printed unicorn horn um, running Adafruit Circuit Playground Express in the youth zone at MozFest. And what's cool is the code is so simple. It, uh, he said, but code posted here. It was just from the camera phone. It, it, it was that small. Um, then we also had a section in our um, Circuit Python and our Python on Hardware Newsletter this week, which has our call to help, call for help for Hello World. So all the messaging inside Circuit Python, we're doing in multiple languages. So do check that out. We also had help wanted. There's uh, people posting up their job skills on jobs.adafruit.com, and people are starting to put Circuit Python and Python on hardware on their resumes. Yes. Um, also highlighted our 8,000 plus members. We're almost up to 9,000 members for Discord. And of course, all these resources are available at learn.adafruit.com slash category slash circuit python or Adafruit IT slash Discord. The awesome circuit python list. Adafruit Daily that you should go to, adafruitdaily.com. Sign up. Sign up. And that is why we call it Code Plus Community. All this stuff came in from various people around the world that are just doing Python on hardware. So much is going on. There's a lot. Okay.